Hello, this is Terry Evans from Entrada Interactive. This will be a quick tutorial on how to configure your miscreated dedicated server to download and install a mod so that when a, a client or a, somebody that wants to play on your server connects to it, it'll also get the information sent to them so they can download the same mod. It's a fairly simple process. The first step is to go where, to find where your miscreated servers install that on your computer. Uh, if you don't have the self-hosted server, it's on Steam in the Tools section. It's just called Miscreated Dedicated Server there. In this folder, create a new file named hosting.cfg. And then edit the file. And add one line named steam underscore UGC equals. And then when you go find the mod number that you want. And in this case, I'm going to use the mod number for the lunchbox that was made in another tutorial. And this is the number that's highlighted in blue in the URL. So I just have selected it and copied it. Then we'll go paste that in here and then save it and exit. And then I have a shortcut to launch the server already, but so I'm going to go ahead and start the server. And let it start up and run here. All right, I'm not going to wait for it to fully finish loading. It'll take a minute. So I'm just going to cancel this. But you would obviously let it continue running. Because I can see that I already installed the mod. So it, it created a mods folder now. And inside of here is the workshop ID number that matches the lunchbox and the lunchbox.pack file that we created and uploaded in the other video. So that's how you can see what's installed on your server. And then if we look in the server log file, and this is just kind of a sanity check, in here, make this a little bit larger, there'll be some lines added here. I want to highlight them here. Here we go. So here's the UGC content that was told to download and install. It made the request to Steam to download it. It's exceeded. It's processing all the UGC that it was told to process. And here's the path that it found it in. It finds it in that path and it copies it into the miscreated dedicated server so it can use it. And that's how you can kind of double check to make sure it's being installed and used. Okay, that's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple process. If you have any questions, uh, please ask on the, in the uh, modding channel on our miscreated Discord. Thank you.